All right, this time I'm going to answer another viewer question, and the question is on, um, well, there's different names for this. Uh, sometimes it's called audio compressor, automatic gains control, volume normalization. On Linux, it's called dynamic range compression. All right. And uh, I didn't even know this uh, feature existed on other, you know, OS or distribution or whatever. But um, once he told me about this, I was like, okay, that sounds awesome. How the hell do you do it? So figure it out here. And it's really not that hard, but you do need Pulse Audio. Now, what is it and why would you want to use it? It's basically if you ever watch a movie or maybe listen to a podcast or something like that or any type of audio, right? And at certain points, it can be really, uh, you know, low or quiet. And at certain other points, it'll be like really loud. Maybe you're watching like an action movie and, you know, sometimes the dialogue is really low and sometimes the action is just uh, too loud and you would have to waste your time changing the volume up and down at certain points, right? Um, to, to be able to hear or not hear the fucking loud volume. So that's what this one takes care of is that uh, once you set it, uh, you don't have to waste your time like, you know, uh, turning up the volume down at different points. You just set it to a certain uh, level and this one should take care of it. Now what it does it do is that uh, if the volume is too high, then it will lower it. Now the volume is too low, it will you know, increase it. Uh, I wouldn't say increase it, but like boost it up, right? So it will either boost it up or lower it down uh, for you automatically. So that's what it's gonna do. And this one is called, why well, was that? Pulse Audio Dynamic Range Compression. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and it's actually real easy to set this up. So let's do this here. Obviously you need to have Pulse Audio, which uh, I think 99% of the distribution already has by default. But if you didn't, you have to install Pulse Audio there. And I want to use a PAVU control for this. So PAVU control, if you don't know, is Pulse Audio volume control, which is this thing. We'll use this a little bit later. And also you need to install the, um, the what was that, SWH uh, plugins. Sometimes it's called, I don't know what you call this, Latspa uh, SWH plugins on other distribution. Same, same thing, they might be called different names, like I said. Uh, this one you don't need to this for right now. And what we're gonna do here is just uh, have it auto start, uh, real simple. We just do copy this here, and we'll open up our terminal. And if you want, if you want to use the GUI to do this, you can do that, like gedit, uh, if you're on GNOME or something like that, or uh, Kate or whatever it is. But I'm gonna use Vim, and at the bottom here. We'll set the, the things to where you at. So at the bottom here, all you gotta do is you know add these lines in there, which uh, I'll post you in the description. But basically, you add these lines. The only thing that you need to be concerned about, if you ever want to change it manually yourself, is uh, they do have uh, these controls here, and these numbers. Not to get too technical, but if you want to change like different ranges and stuff like that, then you can change these numbers. But read up on your own if you want. Right, but uh, the ones I'm using right now, it's fine. And all you gotta do is after you paste that in here, right, just save it, and that should take care of it. Now, reboot your system, and this module should be loaded, and then you can use this uh, compressor to compress any sounds you have on your system. So, I'm gonna give you an example of that. If I play a loud song, and then it'll decrease the you know the, the volume or the decibels for it. If I play a lower or quiet sound, um, it'll increase it, right? So we can actually hear it. So I'm giving you a demonstration of those two here. So let's bust this out here. Minimize this down. And we'll play a song. Now this one should be a loud song, uh, which I'm not gonna turn on the volume for this, but you can see that it will start playing here. So normally, if you had this at uh, without the, any what was that compressor, this is how it will look like, right? So it'll play around this level here, right? Almost like a hundred. And if you turn it on here, turn on uh, to the other what was that compressor plugin. 
then you'll see that even if it goes over 100 decibels or whatever, uh, it will actually uh, minimize it. So this stream at the bottom here, this is the original of how it will sound like without the compressor, right? Now, once you have the compressor on, you'll see that this one uh, is your current volume right now, right? So this stream right here, you see that even though the original one is going like over fucking 100 uh, decibels, it will just be minimized it down to, you know, around this range here. So that's how you know it works here, right? Now, if you're playing this with a quiet type of sound uh, or any type of audio that's really quiet, then it'll actually boost it. Right now, it's, it's uh, what it's doing is that it'll lower it. So even if it goes over 100, it'll lower it back down to around here, right? Now, let's say if I play a a quiet type of song. So you think this is the original stream, and you see that uh, right now this is the max volume for that song, but it's really quiet. I wouldn't hear shit if I was playing like this. Now you see this one boosts it up, right? So even if it's like uh, almost silent here, this thing will boost it up, um, uh, and which is good because then I can hear it. I don't have to change the volume or anything just to hear that part. You know that part. And uh, so that's what it does. So if uh, the song that you're listening to is quiet, uh, maybe at certain points, it'll boost it up. And if it's too loud, it'll lower it down. So that's what the stream does. And this one can be for any type of audio. Uh, all you got to do is uh, start playing it. So if you're playing like with, you know, M player or something like that, all you got to do is uh, open this and switch it to uh, this compressor and you're good to go. Uh, same thing with uh, Cody and any other um, player you have on uh you know your Linux machine here so that's pretty much it for what you need to do is just uh, install those stuff and just switch on to different streams and all that and you're good to go right anyways pretty good uh, I'll say extensions to uh, pause audio I'm not really sure but uh, I'm definitely using it I would recommend it to anyone if you hate wasting time changing the volume up and down when you're doing this or even if you just switch you know to different uh music and some music is too fucking loud or too soft or something like that and then this thing should take care of it so anyways that's what i've been using and i'm digging it anyways good question and that's how you do it not that hard i'll post you everything in the description um that'll be it for this one